let's look at the coordinate rules that are found when we rotate. And again, I'm going to bring in my spoiler alert. Um, not because this is some real tricky information, but again, I, I prefer students to find this on their own than just look it up and, I don't know, uh, it's old-fashioned to me. But I, I like that idea of maybe try and figure these things out before you just look at the answers. They're not hard, and they're kind of fun to discover. Anyways, we are looking at a rotation this time of 90 degrees. So we're going to take triangle ABC, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now remember, that's going to move in this direction, in a counterclockwise direction. And to help me, I'm going to use Patty Paper. Now, Patty Paper isn't named after Mike Patterson, uh, although it should be. Uh, it's named after uh, the hamburger patties that it fits in between. That's where Patty Paper comes from. Anyways, let's do a rotation. I've marked A, B, and C. I have a little plus symbol here at the origin where we're rotating about uh, about 90 in a clockwise man counterclockwise manner. So right there. Now that's going to help me out. Uh, a prime lands at 2 and 1. B prime lands at 3 and 7. And C prime lands at 7 and 5. Just like that. See how quick I am now with a little help of a patty paper. Now what's happening here? Let's look closely. 1 and negative 2, 2 and 1. 7 and negative 3, 3 and 7. 5 and negative 7, 7 and 5. So the first thing I think you would have, you noticed with me is that uh, a rotation about 90 takes every point x, y and it switches them, doesn't it? A y comma x. Almost. You see how the 5 moved the back, the 7 to the front, and so on. But it's not just simply switching these. This is a, that would be a reflection over the y equals x line. Notice that this negative 7, when it moved to the front, became positive. Or this negative 1, oh, they were all negative, I guess, in that case. So in any, in any case, when they get moved to the front, when the old y value becomes the new x value, it negates it and changes it. Whew! That one's kind of tricky. All right, let's look at the next one. We can assume something similar will happen here. This is a rotation of 180 degrees. Now again, uh, let's pull out our handy-dandy uh, paper, our patty paper. So I'm going to mark my A, my B, and my C. And I'm going to make a little plus sign here so that I can see when I get uh, all the way around. There's, there's 90 to there. And I go another 90 to get to 180. So I can record that I got to negative 2 and 1. Uh, I got to negative 7 and 3. And I got to negative 7 and 7. All right, just like that, we've gathered some data. Let's take a look at what we see. Hey, that's interesting. Things stay the same, x and y, location-wise. But they are exactly the opposite. A reflection of 180, oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? That 100, if you do a 180 turn, you're going the exact opposite direction. You turn right around. And so we get a negative x and a negative y as that coordinate rule. Very cool. All right, one more to look at. Actually, two more, it looks like. Or, well, we'll see if we've got time. Certainly one more. A rotation of 270. Now, maybe I'll make note here. 270 would be the same as going negative 90. So... These guys are the same rule, a rotation of 270 that's going, you know, three-quarter turns around counterclockwise, or you can go clockwise one-quarter turn, right? So those are the same rule uh, applied here. So we only have to look at this last one, I think. All right, 270. Now, let's find out. We're moving uh, A, A, B, C again. All right. This time, I think, well... I was going to cheat and just do a minus 90 here. I think I'll do both just to prove that that's what's happening. 
So I could go uh, 90 to here, 180 to here, 270 to here. Or I could have just said, hey, another way to get there is just go the short way. Just go negative 90. Bing! Right? So oops, let me straighten my corner here. Let's get it right. So this would be at uh, negative 2 and negative 1. B would be at negative 3 and negative 7. And C would be at negative 7 and negative 5. Hmm, what do we see? Let's see, let's see. All right, we notice, again, a switching of the coordinates, like the 90-degree turn. A rotation of 270 seems to change x and y's position. But who got negated this time? Oh, it was the x, the new y value. These are tricky because the old x value is the new y value, got negated, and so on. Kind of tricky. Now, maybe just to make sure you understand this, this would be the same rule for negative 90, because those are both the same motion in the plane. Uh, just two different ways to get there. All right, let's summarize these three. It's kind of tricky. So we have a rotation of 90, a rotation of 180, about the origin, a rotation of 270, about the origin, and here's what happens. If you remember, the x and the y switch, and the y is negated. In this case, they stayed where they were, negative x, negative y. It's an opposite because of the 180. And then this one switches as well, but this time it was the x that not got negated. Now, I, I hope not to confuse things, but watch this little thing, see if this helps you. Here's our original rule. And if we take it and we do the 90 degree rule, we get negative y and x. Now, from, one, from 90 to 180 is 90. So let's do the 90 rule again, which is to switch, switch, and negate whatever is the y value. So when you switch and negate the old y value, you get this. Hey, there it is. One more time, if we go from 180 to 270, if we switch and negate again, guess what we get? We get the value here. Let's do it one more time and see what happens. If we go another time, we switch and negate, and guess what? We arrive right back where we started. These are the rotation coordinate rules, and they will help you greatly.